Hi, today I'm gonna to be talking about virgin hair versus processed hair, the pros and cons, so that you can decide which one is the best solution or the best option for you. Main difference between the virgin hair and the processed hair is the virgin hair, when we get it, it is the same color as it is when it's cut from someone's head. So there is no color, there's no coating, there's nothing that's done to it. It's in its virgin raw form. And what's good about the virgin hair when there's no color or no process done to it is when you want to do a color service, you can basically personalize anything you want to what you want the color service to be. And there aren't really any restrictions. So I can make this as light or as dark as possible. But it varies in texture. Um, now the other thing with virgin hair, it's a lot more expensive because the hair texture is much finer and thinner and it's not as available as the processed hair in the market. So you are paying a little more for the virgin hair. The premium processed hair is colored in the factory. So it's not virgin. It is human hair. It's still cuticle intact, but we do have a lot more colors in the premium processed hair because we do treat the hair in the factory and do all different types of colors. Um, normally we don't have one solid color with the premium processed hair. There's always variations in the color of the hair because the premium processed hair um, would look very flat if it was all one color. So we have a lot more colors when it comes to the premium processed hair because we can color it to whatever color we want. The virgin hair comes in limited colors. We do get sometimes reds and different color blondes, but the premium processed hair, we have a lot more color ranges. It's more available in the market, which makes it a little more affordable. Now, this hair under a microscope is a little thicker in nature, so the actual strands are thicker. Now, in terms of the virgin hair, uh, most of it hair tends to be a little bit on the warmer side because it was cut from someone's head and hair that is exposed to the sun tends to be warmer. So most of the time when you get virgin hair, you'll notice that it has a warm undertone to it. That does not mean we can't ash it and we can't do ashy tones. If we just tone it when we do a color service to it. So virgin hair tends to be on the warmer side. With premium processed hair, we do have some ashy tones. We have some warm tones, but um, they're both great options. I just wanted to highlight and feature both of them so that you can decide which one. Uh, which one works best for you in terms of price, availability, color, color services, all those kind of things. There's a lot of details that go into choosing the right wig and this is just one detail that is good to be educated on so that you can make the right decision.